Alright, while we do that, we're gonna do game five. So, sorry, Eugene, we're gonna do this game five. Restart this. So, we're gonna combine both of games four and five. Oh, yeah. So, right now, we're at a million fifty-five thousand. If you do not answer a question within the time limit, the game will be over and you'll walk away with the money you've won so far. Alright. At any time during a question, you can choose to now walk away with, with the money one so far. You can use three lifelines. Hello. Phone a friend where you'll call one of your friends who will then tell you what they think is the answer. Ask the audience that, where you'll pull that. the audience to see what they think is the correct answer. And finally, double dip. That gives you an extra shot at a question if you fail to answer correctly, but it is the only lifeline where you must answer the question and cannot walk away. Let's take a look at the first five categories you're going to... Driver's Education, a.k.a. Concentrations, Comparison, ready? Giants, The right, Color so Wheel. Are you ready? Okay. Let's play Millionaire. For $500, you have 15 seconds to answer each of the first five questions. In which of these driving maneuvers does the car always turn a total of 180 degrees? Making a right turn. Making a U turn. Changing U turn. Okay. Parallel parking. Is you that final. Final answer. You got it. Right here. Five hundred dollars. One thousand dollar question is coming up. All right, come on. Which of these historical persons has a surname that is synonymous with escape artist? Houdini. Annie Oakley. Oh, escape artist? Is who they need. Come on. Well, my friend, What's the escape artist? Really? Here comes the next question, worth $2,000. What is the correct spelling of the contraction for the phrase, come on? Contraction phrase? C-M apostrophe O-N. Nope. Is the apostrophe M O N? Your final answer. You got it. Right Come on. Two thousand dollars. Come on. Next question, which is worth three thousand dollars. Merrick and Pfizer are two of the largest companies in what industry? Textiles. Merrick and Pfizer. Publishing. Transportation. Pharmaceuticals. Pfizer. I know I heard of that name. I think it's from from in Well, what are the other choices? Transportation, no. Textiles, no. No, it is pharmaceuticals. Final. I can remember hearing that word. That's the correct answer. I remember hearing the word Pfizer, so it has to be. Here comes the first landmark question worth five thousand dollars. Need for the expensive spice. The color saffron is what hue? Yellow orange. Yellow and green. Yellow orange. Final. Your final answer. That's the correct answer. Thousand dollars, whatever happens now, you won't leave with less than that. Point public color wheel. Okay. Color wheel again? For seventy five thousand right. dollars. Now you'll have thirty seconds to answer each question. Which of these coins depicts the man who served most recently as US president? Penny. Nickel. Dime. What's it do? Bye. Is that your final answer? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Well done. That's correct. For seventy-five hundred dollars. For ten thousand dollars. In a famous PSA from the eighties, a teenager shouts, "I learned it by watching you." At what person? His football coach. His teacher. His girlfriend. His father. Oh God, I didn't see that one. Ask the audience. 
Audience, we need your help. On your keypads, vote now. What did the audience say? 65 Lane, his football coach. Oh, God. Double dip. Alright, let's start with the double dip. Let's stop the clock. Hear your first answer. That's what I'm going to first. It's that. Is that your final answer? Yeah. There's no fooling you. Oh, yeah. You got well, that was raised. Well, the full of feather slap. $10,000. Next question is worth $12,500. Here it comes. Displayed on all their farming equipment, what are the trademark colors of the John Deere brand? Oh my god. Pink and white. Green and yellow, final. Is that your final answer? I'm Don't need this. Here to remain at the presence, I just know it. Try the John Deere dealership, no. Well, a bit far away, but. I know what that is. In 2008, Ellen DeGeneres married her longtime girlfriend, a former cast member of what sitcom? Oh, shit. Arrested Development, Scrubs, Oh, God. That 70s show, Okay. Will and Grace. Her girlfriend right now is Portia, the glossy. Okay, we know that. Portia used to be on the show, but what show is it? You know what I said, development. What is it? Isn't it? Oh, that's in development. Better off 10. No, 2008. Wait, what's this about Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi? In 2008, Ellen DeGeneres married her longtime girlfriend, a former cast member on what sitcom? Portia. Okay, we know it's Portia. Because she married Portia at the time. Her recent show is Scandal. Okay, we know that. Is that your final answer? Uh huh. You got it right. You won $15,000. Ready for the second landmark, the $25,000 question. One more. Which of these is not one of the three standard ingredients in a popover? In a popover? Milk. Eggs. Cheese. Flour. Which one of these is not a three standard ingredients in a popover? Let's see, eggs, milk, salt, flour, water. Cheese. Is that your final answer? You said say all of that. Let's okay. see. That's correct. Cheese is actually not. A phone, a friend has left. Congratulations, you've made it to the second landmark. You can't leave okay. less than $25,000 now. Movie lines, toys and games, movie plot magazine, and famous. Okay, remain in five questions. dollars question on the way, with only five more to reach the million. The questions are getting tougher now. You have a 45 second time limit to answer each question. What movie does that? In which movie does Arnold Schwarzenegger does not repeat his Terminator catchphrase, I'll be back? Twins. Commando. Last action hero. Predator. Oh gosh. I'm thinking that's last action hero. Last action hero. Predator and Commando has to be a face lines, I'll be back.
Say that again one more time. Because he didn't even say it in the Predator movies. Nope, and. Oh, go with Predator, Ben. Yay, Jay's not a chipmunk anymore! Yay! Uh, yeah, I didn't want to say anything. Is that your final Predator answer? Predator final. Uh, Congratulations! That's the right answer! You won $15,000! Well, we got Jay with us. <laughs> That's why I had to make your team say that one again. Because I was like. Okay, okay, here we go. Twice in games. The children's modeling clay Play-Doh was originally invented in 1933 for use as a what? Pencil eraser. Window insulator. Beauty mask. Wallpaper cleaner. Well, since you guys ask, are you sure? But it looks like you guys see the answer in there, but it's like, alright. Surpassing that, let's go to Bear Hardy. Movie plots. Three questions left. The $250,000 question is next. Get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. In the Breakfast Club, the students are assigned to spend detention writing an essay on what topic? Oh my god. Where they went wrong. Why they are stuck there. What they want to be. Who they think they are. I remember seeing the Breakfast Club. Aha! Uh -huh. I know it too. I know what it is. It's gotta be who they think they are. Yeah. Right? Cause ah, uh, let me see. Cause all the. Come on, Dan. Don't doubt it. Cause all the. Is that your final answer? Oh yes. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yep. I forgot who wrote it too. But I did see the movie. Magazines? I owe for Michael Hall, that's right. Two more questions between you and a million Magazines? I owe for... What popular women's magazine oh, began no. in the 1930s as a menu leaflet handed out at A&P supermarkets? Red Book. Good Housekeeping. Woman's Day. Ladies Home Journal. Red Book is out. See the good housekeeping women's day or ladies home channel. Has to be one of those three. And it began in the nineteen thirties. Nineteen thirties women's magazine. Nineteen thirties women's magazine. As a menu leaflet handed heading at AMP AMP markets. God. I would have guessed ladies on channel. Man, if you don't know it, walk away. No, I got a funny friend left. Well, even if you use it, I wouldn't recommend going for it. Hey, I have an idea. Oh, on it. 
Maybe. No, I'm not even 50% sure. Uh-oh. Get the hell out of there. You know what? Thinking about... What are the choices? Red Book, house, Good Housekeeping, Women's Day, Ladies Home Journal. Eugene. But if I, like, if I were to take a guess, this is only just a guess on my part. Do not go with it if you don't feel like it's a good idea. But if I were to take a guess, I would say good house. I wouldn't even know where to tell. I would. I wouldn't even know what to tell you then. I'd. So I just say I'm not. I'm not super confident. Then just do the right thing. Take the money and get out of there. I'm stumped. Take it. You know what? Fuck it. We're taking a quarter of a million. You've won two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Hope you'll keep trying for the million. Nineteen thirties. Okay. Uh. So two fifty plus twenty five thousand. Well, together we're at a million three hundred five thousand. So, uh, combine both four and five at two million, no, no, two million, two hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Not bad. I'd like to thank these guys for being part. I'd like to thank you for watching. Now, we're gonna do offline. We're gonna figure out. Well, the answer was. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized we would have been wrong. What was it? What was it? It was Ladies Home Journal. Uh, oh no. That's why, that's why I said I wasn't 100% sure. You Don't tell me Ladies Home Journal was your first guess. And I wouldn't went with it. And I guess Ladies Home Journal too. Oh my God! And I would have had us half a million. Okay, I, it was a guess too, because I was like literally stumped when I saw the quest, I was like, handing me on this. It was like before we go, I was like literally stumped, but that question came out, was like in the 1930s, I was like, oh god, that's way before our time. We was like, okay, if you go to the supermarket back in 1930s. And all that. What do you do? You go out buy stuff. Also, we got Ducky Fucky with us. But imagine going to a supermarket back in 1930s. What do they do? Or what do they sell at a few cents? Or what? What do they sell during the Great Depression? Food. But going back, but blah, blah, blah. but going back on all of this. Just think about it. Why you do? What do all women do going back to 1930s? Well, yeah, they know me some cool things. I don't know. I was like stumped all around.
But what could we do? Alright, well, that is it for me, and for the week. I'd like to thank these guys for being part of it and having I'd like to thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video soon. Take care.